Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Pete Olson, the Montana Silver Stacker. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Happy Wednesday, March 3rd. My God, can you believe we're into March? Um, pretty amazing. So I came across an article today that I thought was worthy of sharing with you guys and, and discussing a little bit uh, regarding silver bullion coin sales. Silver bullion coin sales up in January, actually, is the title. Um, before we get into that, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, please share this video. Uh, please like it. And, and also feel free to comment. Love to hear your thoughts. Um, but if you love hearing about silver and gold um, and the latest things that are going on with physical silver and gold, if you love to stack or thinking about stacking, definitely subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay? Thanks so much. So again, silver bullion coin sales up in January. And uh, really, that's, that's no surprise. And we can kind of talk about even up to uh, present day. But it says, and this is interesting, the United States Mint kicked off 2022 with American Silver Eagle bullion coin sales in January that are 4.7% higher than sales for the same period 2021. Um, it reached 5 million and uh, 1,000, or excuse me, 5 million 1,000 coins compared with 4,775,000 coins in January 2021. That's a um, and they had 3,846,000 coins in January of 2020. Significant difference. Uh, sales on February 7th of this year added another 480,500 American uh, Eagle one ounce 0.999 fine silver dollars. Uh, American Eagle gold bullion coin sales in January 2022 reached 181,500 ounces. Uh, 123,500 ounces in one ounce coins, 22,500 ounces in half ounce coins and 16,000 ounces in quarter ounce coins, 19,500 ounces in 10th ounce coins, okay? So r really, what is that What is that telling us? And, and this is about January. What's been happening, right? We've had massive spending, haven't we? Called quantitative easing. That's where the federal government, because of the reserve, can just print money like it's growing on trees and they just print and print and print and print. They print their way out of everything. Well, as my father always said, there ain't no free lunch. You can't print yourself into oblivion without having consequences. And, and what are the consequences of uh, printing trillions of dollars uh, and, and pushing that money into the market? The consequence is inflation, inflation. Boy, have we seen, Matt, we've had record massive inflation for November, December, January, and February. Guys, I've never seen this in my lifetime. Uh, the worst before, before this was in the early 80s. I think it was comparable. Um, but if you noticed, both inflationary times have come under a Democrat, haven't they? Why? Because they love to spend, spend, spend without any thought towards responsible spending. Correct. And regardless, because of inflation, we're seeing what we're seeing prices higher at the pump. We're seeing prices higher in the grocery store. It's come to the point where people aren't buying things that they usually buy. Correct. I mean, I'll give you an example. I haven't been buying steaks like we usually do. Been going more um, pork because steaks are too darn expensive. It's it's insane. Everything. Everything across the whole board in the grocery store, everything that you're buying as a whole, uh, whether you're in a ranch and supply store or a grocery store or any kind of store, they're marking up all their prices because they're getting killed on the prices that they have to purchase their uh, products for. Make sense? So where do people go when inflation starts to skyrocket? There's only one place to go, and that's physical silver and gold. It's the hedge, isn't it, right? It's the safety net. It's God's money. You can't, you can't print it, right? It's, it's the only true money. And they go there for safety. So not only are people buying it, but banks are hoarding it and, and countries are hoarding it. Now we fast forward into March. Where are we now? Inflation is still sky high, isn't it? Sky high. We just got another report saying record levels again. I mean, the pump, we're going over $4 a gallon. 
Just over a year ago, we were under $2 a gallon under Trump. Okay. So what else do we have? We have the Russian-Ukrainian war causing, you know, uh, oil to go over $100 a barrel, like $106 a barrel now. People are petrified. Where do they go when they're petrified? They go to physical silver and gold, period. So this is a very interesting article. It's not surprising. Um, and I think you're only going to see a huge uptick from here with all the chaos that's going on in the world because it's only getting worse, only getting worse. And um, I, I stack as much physical silver and gold as possible. I own an international physical silver and gold company. If you're looking to purchase physical silver and gold, just click on the link below. If you are looking uh, for a, uh, a side hustle, if you will, uh, a second income that you can work around your job, um, I have positions with my physical silver and gold company. And click on that link and take the online tour. Uh, watch both videos, fill out the survey, and I personally will get hold of you after you fill out the survey. Okay? I appreciate it, guys. Again, this is Pete Olson, the Montana Silver Stacker. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks so much.